we have all gotten committed to individual identities and prejudices that life happens as one big whole. When we are buried, we all become part of the land. Same soil, isn't it? Does that explain the fears from the other ideology, ideas, thoughts, the anxiety and stress from the future and the prominent, uh, is now a prominent feature of a human being in 21st century? How did big part of people nowadays got trapped in this vicious circle of frustration, misery and collective rage? See, if you look at it, what happens within a human being is entirely caused by him or her within themselves. Your joy and misery happens within you, pain and pleasure happens within you. Right now actually even what is light and darkness happens only within you. Because what is light for you is darkness for some other creature. This is all the way it is happening within us or in other words, the very basis of your experience is within you. When the very basis of experience is within you, should you not determine what is the nature of your experience? If you did determine what is the nature of your experience, would you make it pleasant or unpleasant for yourself? Definitely pleasant. If there is a choice right now within you, either to be blissful or stressful or miserable, what's your choice? Definitely to be blissful. So this ability to exercise this choice is something that we have not spread across in the society. We have not brought this into our children's lives. We have not made this a part of our education that the most important thing for a human being is that you are a wonderful human being. If you are a wonderful human being, when you are feeling wonderful within yourself, you naturally do wonderful things to everybody. When you are feeling horrible within yourself, you will do horrible things to other people. And every human being can notice this. When they are happy, if you meet them, they are wonderful people. If you meet them when they are miserable, angry, frustrated, whatever else, they can be nasty human beings. So this dimension of life has been neglected in our eagerness to develop our economies, to exploit the world, do whatever. We are busy fixing the world. Yes, world needs to be fixed to some extent. But we think by fixing the world, everything will be all right. No, we also need to fix this human being. Fixing this human being means we have all gotten committed to individual identities and prejudices. From the simple aspect of gender, we are the same species, but gender has become like two different species. Nations, ideologies, race, religion, all kinds of things have divided and fractured humanity in so many different ways. It is time that we instill this in our children and the future generations that life happens as one big whole but it is the magnanimity of, magnanimity of the creation that it gives us an individual experience, but actually it's happening as one whole. Either we understand this now, or we will anyway get it when we are buried. When we are buried, we all become part of the land. Same soil, isn't it? Yes. <laughs>